we're going to be talking about the nine realms of North mythology, the Nephilim, and the Watchers. Now, we know that fallen angel is never actually used in the Bible or the Arabic scriptures. They do refer to the falling and the descent, though. The Bible states that all angels are sinless, but created with free will. And with this free will, if they choose to sin, comes great consequences. Three consequences that exist for them are being confined in the primordial abyss, being imprisoned in Tartarus, and the rest lose their purity and their heavenly status and they are let loose on humanity. Now, are fallen angels demons? According to the Christian belief, yes, but in the Bible, they don't actually call them that. It isn't till the first Enoch. The book of Enoch goes into great details about demons, which occurred around 300 BC. And this book is considered controversial and non-canon because of the great detail it goes into. It talks about how 200 angels had sexual relations with women and these women were transformed into bird-like creatures and they gave birth to the Nephilim. Now it is said that the origin of all sin according to Enoch came from the Nephilim and not from Adam and Eve in the temptation of the forbidden fruit. The Bible mentions Enoch one time and it pretty much says how Enoch was devoted to God and God brought Enoch into heaven. Now, the, the only original copies left of the book of Enoch are the Ethiopian copies, which are said to be some of the last original copies. First, Enoch exposes the sins of the Watchers. Now, the Watchers' job were to watch over humanity and influence humanity under God's rule, pretty much, in God's image. The book of Daniel mentions them about three times. One time, it actually states that the one angels that he is watching are the holy ones, meaning there's obviously room for unholy ones. Now, the book of the Watchers took place before the great flood, probably seven, several hundred years after the creation. This is where humans and angels actually lived and coexisted. It wasn't out of the ordinary to see humans and an, uh, angels actually you know, intermingling, conversating. It wasn't until Yakan, who was the first watcher to actually feel the lustful emotions, presented his plan to Sabiaza, who later presented the, the plan to the other watchers, and the other watchers actually agreed into conspiring to have sexual activities with the women pretty much to birth their own children from these women. They were so devoted to the plan that they even swore an oath to face the consequences together in a union. Now the Watchers taught just about everything spiritual to the women. The Zazzle taught the art of war, cosmetic, art itself, violence, promiscuity, and all type of other things that were considered, you know, forbidden. Now, the women who gave birth to the Nephilim, like I said, they transformed into bird-like creatures because they were mating with beings of heavenly vibration. So it caused their personal vibration to be manipulated as well as their DNA. Now, the Nephilim actually reside in one of the oldest realms out of the nine in North mythology.